Shalom. It's your brother Yirah. Giving all praise to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Rachakwadash. Shalom to the men of the Lord, preaching and teaching his word in sincerity and truth up there in the highways and byways. Shalom to you, brother. Shalom to the elect, the one third, men, women, and children. That the most high Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai will have mercy on uh, in these latter days. Um Deuteronomy 22 and 5, the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord Yahweh, thy God, our power. And uh, I'll go over to this article. It says, I said I was trans and was prescribed hormones that day. Detransitioner opens up about the ease of getting body altering drugs. Um, now, this is a topic that, you know, Esau has become, which other so called white people uh, have become very sensitive about, you know. <laughs> like, they'll, they'll attack you if you come after this, you know, because ultimately this is their new source, their newfound power of wickedness. In America these days, they basically destroyed the so-called Negro Latinos and American and Native Americans, who are the true Israelites, you know, by way of you know, fried chicken, you know, fast food restaurants, you know, uh, Christianity, church, you know, drugs, all manner of things they've employed over the years to destroy us, and uh, you know, but whether it just be destroying a family, you know, making sure our, our women. You know, they turn against us, you know, for sake of food stamps and welfare. And they've completely destroyed what it means to be a man in this in this society um, and definitely to be an Israelite man. And they're looking to finish the job. And it's this agenda that they're looking to do to completely and utterly destroy us. Our, our people... What you will realize is we're way too alpha, even after slavery. They they have to do this, you know, because we, we, we are the salt of the earth. We have a way of figuring out how to overcome things, you know, despite being on the bottom. And uh, this is just another means by which they're looking to push this, especially in our communities. But it's hitting Esau harder because he's a weaker and a more base man, you know. He... Uh, He's getting killed by opioids and all manner of, you know, wickedness brought by his own people, the elites, you know. So uh, with that, I'll just read through this article. It says prescription of hormones are on the rise as more people come out as transgender. But the medication is being handed out far too easily and quickly, often to confused, vulnerable individuals. So if you don't know, Esau has come up with chemical cocktails to give people a lot of times prepubescent, which means before puberty or around the age of puberty, cocktails that will sterilize them chemically, you know, that will keep them from developing hormones that make them more masculine, all all in the name of having this, this gender ambiguity or this, this non-binary system where you could be a man or a woman, you know. You don't have to play your role. If you were born you know, with the penis or whatever, you know, you can still be a woman, you know, and, and, and the reality is you have to do, you, ha it's not enough to just be born, you know, you have to be fruitful and productive in a society, you know, if you were born with a certain thing, that's what you need to work with, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't matter what's going on in your head, what's going on with you, you know, you know, I, I like to look at the analogy of like the, the Golden State Warriors, you know, as good as Steph Curry is, imagine if they played him at center, you know, <laughs> like th there's a good chance they, they don't win those championships, you know, and it's not a knock on Steph Curry, but he's a certain size. He has a certain skill set. He's a very good basketball player. But at the end of the day, everybody's built to handle their own position, you know, I and mean, there's no different between men and women. This is this is wickedness, you know. So let me let me go on. Uh, this is a quote. It says all I said was that I was was I thought I was trans and I was prescribed hormones that day, you know. So 
you know, here it is. You got to show ID for all these other drugs. You know, you got to have parent, you know, permission and all this other nonsense. They're prescribing these hormones that day, showing you that this is an agenda. They're, they're planning to effeminize the male population, you know. Uh, it says a source who was asked to remain anonymous for fear he'll be attacked online. At just 20 years of age, the biological male began hormone placement therapy. Uh, HRT transitioned into a female during 2017. Leading up to that decision, he spent years battling with confusion as to what gender he believed himself to be. And the most high hate confusion. You know, nothing is more powerful chemically in your body than hormones. They can compel you to do all manner of wickedness, you know. A lot of people commit adultery. The mechanism by which they do that are hormones, you know. Like, yeah, there are demons, there are spirits, but there's a physical means by which people commit these things, you know. And Esau is playing with, with magic and witchcraft on the chemistry in your body with drugs, you know. And that, that's why this place is going to have to be completely set on fire, set ablaze, you know. Yikes. Um, and, and wandered into an online environment seeking help and advice. I bounced around a lot in my confusion. Sometimes I thought I was trans. Sometimes I didn't. Uh, he said before detailing how he fell into communities that helped convince him he was. Because there's no law. There's no order. If you try to keep order, they'll call you a bigot. You know. They'll, they'll try to ostracize you. There's no real men. And there's nobody to to keep the leaders of this society held to a standard. There's no integrity, you know? They'll go whatever way the wind blows, whatever's easiest, you know? And of course you find a community that's going to tell them the opposite. Because th this is the kingdom of Satan. Uh, and it says, uh, it was these groups that pressured him into seeking medication, even though he had previously expressed some doubts. Honestly, it was cemented. It were the people who said, even if I'm not sure, I should get on HRT anyway because I'd miss my chance and wouldn't be able to look the way I want later in life. What difference does it make with what you look in life? This is what Esau is teaching people, you know? It matters more about what you look than what you contribute as a person in society. It matters more about how you feel inside, about what your actions are out in the world, you know? And now you have this this entire generation of people who are just hedonists, you know? If you look up that word hedonism, it's just those who just take pleasure in self. I just want to be happy, you know? Anybody living by that philosophy, I just want to be happy. Stay away from those people, man, you know? They, they don't have integrity. They're not willing to do the right thing, even when it hurts them. And that's what the Most High has required of us. You can't just do what you want, you know? There are fun parts of life. There are parts of life that you enjoy, but ultimately it can't impact doing uh, what's right. What's what's going to what's going to be the ways of life, and that's why the Most High gave His people, Yasharala Israel, the law, statutes, and commandments, because He wanted us to live. You know. <laughs> uh, it says uh, He continues so, but. I booked an appointment at a clinic specializing in LGBT issues, which you know, most of you brothers know what LGBT is or LGBTQ or whatever. Um, the clinic is in New York, and he was prescribed hormones that same day. Wickedness. Sex changes on demand. HRT has become increasingly easy to obtain as other sources relayed through their own firsthand experiences. Planned Parenthood and its informed consent policies make the process startlingly startingly quick. And for you brothers who've heard of Planned Parenthood, what else are they behind? Mass, mass amount of abortions. Predominantly in our in our people. If you look up where abortion clinics are, the majority of them are in poor neighborhoods, which is where the majority of our people dwell. You know? Showing you that, yeah, Esau does not care that it's fucking up his own people, but he's, he's targeting this for us, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, or Native Americans. He has a very low birth rate. <laughs> you know? Uh, especially compared to us, especially compared to, you know, the Northern Kingdom. You know, they crank them out, man, you know. The so-called Mexicans, the so-called uh, Native Americans, you know. 
the so-called uh, Dominicans, the so-called Cubans, all, all of the birth rates are higher amongst the tribes, you know. And uh, he knows this, you know. Planned Parenthood is behind all that. And now you're finding out they're also behind this, you know. Appointments usually last an hour. And after blood results come in, the patients are written a, a prescription, you know. And all these doctors coming on here, man. Like trans health care, like this place has to be completely there's a, there's got to be a hard reset you know how are you supposed to build a society with men who aren't even sure that they're supposed to be a man you know that's that's what's going to become the norm if so-called white people stay in rulership they stay in power who wants to live in a world like that you know uh the process of of informed consent biases the need for a long-term therapist to sign off on medication Transgender advocates believe this prevents gatekeeping in uncomfortable situations because everybody just wants to be comfortable, you know. They don't, they don't care about what's right or what's wrong. In their view, the drug should be as readily available as other basic meds a doctor may prescribe for health problems. Think having a chest cold and being handed cough medicine. So they're likening permanently changing your body. Oftentimes it sterilizes you. They're giving these to teenagers, you know. And they want it to be as accessible as cough medicine, you know. Meanwhile, you gotta you gotta have you know ID and a prescription to buy, you know, uh, opioids and all these other kind of drugs. But if you want to permanently castrate yourself, that they want that to be fine, you know. This new these newfound speed in diagnosing patients as transgender doesn't just extend to Planned Parenthood or, or other LGBT clinics. Uh, Either some people I spoke with mentioned bringing gender confusion up, their actual therapist, and in a majority of cases, they were prescribed meds within 30 days. Now, keeping in mind most of them see their doctor once a week or less, that's not many hours dedicated to handling a very serious topic. And just to show you how how dangerous, how how wrong this was looked at in the ancient world. Let me see, I believe it's uh, Genesis 19. So this is the account where, you know, where Lot is in the house, you know, and uh, these two men, these two homosexual men are looking to have sex to guests in his house. And it says, verse 6, and Lot went out at the door unto them. This is in, Lot is in Sodom and Gomorrah. He's in Sodom or Gomorrah, so lucky, I can't remember. Uh, Sodom, yeah, he's in Sodom. Uh, and Lot went out to the door unto them and shut the door after him and said, I pray you, brethren, do not do, do not so wickedly. Behold, now I have two daughters which have not known man. Let me, I pray you, bring them out unto you and do ye to them as in good in your eyes, only unto these men do nothing. Because these men were trying to lay with other men. And you have to realize what it means to give up your daughter to somebody like that. That's how wrong this was, that Lot was trying to offset this by offering up his daughters. As only unto these men do nothing. And, and for therefore came under they under the shadow of my roof. And they said, <laughs> stand back, you know. These, they're just that demon, just demonic, man. And they said, again, this one fellow came in to sojourn, and he will needs be a judge, and now will I deal worse with thee than with them. So they're, they're getting more and more emboldened. And this is a, Sodom is a city that is what happens when all of these laws, when you just do what you feel, I can be whatever I want. Well, eventually these people get governmental power, they get real power, and they pass laws, and it, and it, and it devolves into a society where men walk up to your door and do shit like this, you know? Uh, and it says, now we will deal worse with thee than, them, than with them. And they pressed sore upon the man, even Lot, 
and came near to break the door. So these two homosexuals basically broke into this man's house to try to have sex with them, you know, <laughs> beat down the door. But the men put forth their hand and pulled a lot into the house to them and shut and to shut the door and shut to the door. And they smote the men that were at the door of the house with blindness, both small and great, so that they wearied themselves to find the door. So basically, angels had to come in and <laughs> and the Most High had with supernatural power smite them with blindness, you know, just so they wouldn't just so they couldn't give, you know, be given over to just vile wickedness, you know, um, just showing you how how grievous this is. And now we're in a society where this is just being normalized, you know, as a transgender person myself, I can corroborate these examples at a veteran affairs hospital. Uh, I sought out a therapist to open up about gender issues I've been battling my whole life. But in just a few weeks, the subject of medication was broached and I could have started them right then. I ended up waiting a bit longer to be just to be sure. But the ease at which I came out of the closet and was offered hormones was shocking to say, man, I can't even continue. This is let me get. Uh, let me get first Corinthians. Nine, I believe. Is it First Corinthians six? Yeah, First Corinthians six, uh, chapter nine, and it says, "Know ye not that the unrighteous." shall inherit the kingdom of the most high. And this goes for all the brothers today, man. Like, this, this is what Paul is saying, you know. Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor adulterers, nor, adulter nor idolaters, Salakia, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. So let me, let me get that word, effeminate. Because... Uh, malakos, soft, soft to the touch, effeminate, of a catamite, of a boy kept for homosexual relations with a man. And and a, a lot of this with Paul speaking about, he's seen back in Greek, Greeks, man, you know, just, just ch you know, just touching little boys, man, making them effeminate. And at the end of the day, you know, if you're, if you're in this situation, you got to pray to the most high, you know, it doesn't matter what happened. You know, you have to come out of that because at the end of the day, you're not going to make it into the kingdom. Just as Paul said, you know, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, not, not, nobody with these traits and characteristics are the, is the most high going to have mercy on if you're still doing that when he sends his son back, you know, so regardless of what happened, you have to pray to come out of that. And a lot, we live in a society where Esau is grabbing up a lot of young Jakes and doing all kinds of manner of wickedness to them, you know, fucking up their heads, turning them into these, you know, homosexuals, even pre child predators themselves, you know, you know, and that's, that's one of the major reasons the most I've got to come back because there's this, this type of behavior is only going to increase, you know, this is some of the worst, it, it's hard to even talk about this. This is so disgusting, you know? children you know so with that uh i hope you brothers were edified call hello yahweh bashem yahweh shab hashem rachach wadash shalom